uh, an annuity versus a one-time purchase. We're all looking for that golden egg. If you're like most small business owners, uh, the number one major consideration for going social or doing anything in the social world <laughs> is uh, what is the cost? Everybody's looking for the price tag. And the general thinking in most business people's mind right this minute is that the benefits are soft and fuzzy, but the cost is real clear. Someone comes to you with a dollar amount and says, this is the exact dollar amount, and your response is, but what am I going to get for that? Uh, and you also need to know that the commitment is rigorous. It's not something that you can start and end quickly. You need to continue doing it on an ongoing, long-term basis. Um, my response, and I believe a lot of people who have some experience in the social arena would say that that kind of thinking is dead wrong. And uh, I would say to you beyond that, that the benefit of publishing an article in a library, taking a headline to a network is crystal clear and it's measurable. Each time you publish something in your library, you're actually purchasing an annuity and you're getting ongoing cash coming from that article. You're not really getting green cash like we would expect, but what you're getting is valuable search traffic. We talked a minute ago about social search. You can obviously see if you posted an article that answered a very important question that was helpful to many people from the social search standpoint, people would reference that article. Um, if you're confused on what that looks like or what that sounds like, uh, let me give you a real life example. In April, we posted an article that was called Defining Web 1.0. And if you don't know what Web 1.0 is, go to socialmediaattraction.com and just type in Defining Web 1.0 and you'll find that article and you'll see what it is. Very short, very succinct. Over the past six months, that article has been getting an average of 200 visits a month from people that are searching for the term Web 1.0. If you go to a keyword tracking tool, you'll know, or learn that uh, that particular term, if we were to put together a pay-per-click campaign, would cost $2.41 every time someone clicked on that link. And if everyone understands pay-per-click campaigns, you don't pay for anything until somebody clicks. So what that really means is we don't have a pay-per-click campaign, but because we've put that article out there and people are looking for that kind of information, that article is actually producing about $480 a month worth of traffic from search engines. So there's in effect, uh, 480 bucks a month worth of investment by just publishing that article and having it available in our library all the time. Now, if you think about that, over the next two years, that traffic is worth about $11,000 in a two-year window of time. Only because we published that article, we put it out there, it talks about defining Web 1.0, and people are looking to try to identify what that is. If you're looking for an immediate return on your investment in the form of actual cash revenues coming in from that investment, perhaps a TV ad campaign is where you should place your advertising dollars. In two weeks, the ad campaign will be over. It's a one-time expense, it's a one-time return, and you're done. So everybody understands we've all spent one-time expense, one-time return advertising dollars. The social arena is not a one-time, one-time. It's an annuity. The bottom line is if you're focusing on the cost of social and you're trying to determine whether that cost is going to get you an immediate return, you're missing the real financial value in social, and that is the fact that it's an annuity. It's something that's there long term. And as that network, as your audience grows, more people are able to go to and reference that information that you've posted out there in your network.